What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with another Battlefield 5 medic weapons video. Today we're going to be checking out the MP28. It's an SMG with a fire rate of 670 and a magazine capacity of 30 or 50 with extended mags. So let me start off by saying that I think this weapon is probably one of the best hip firing SMGs in the game. It just feels very very consistent and a ton of fun. And I would kind of compare it to the Swami that I covered earlier in the week where you really want to be hip firing with it. Uh, you can aim down sights, but it has a lot of recoil and bounces around a bit. So definitely going to be wanting to hip fire this thing. But let's head into specializations. So as you guys can see, I've gone for a completely left hand side here. And that is for the reasons that I just previously mentioned. Being able to stop sprinting and shoot sooner is absolutely amazing on this weapon. Having that hip fire accuracy and reduced penalty for hip firing longer, also amazing. And then I've also put extended mags as well. So we have a ton of amazing specializations here. And overall, it just makes the gun super fun to play with. Um, I've tried the right hand side. I've tried a mix bag with this weapon trying to find out what works best at least for me personally and I found having all the accuracy on the right the reduced horizontal recoil and everything it didn't really change much for me this weapon was still pretty hard to handle recoil wise in my opinion aiming down sight especially at medium range. And I just felt like I was more consistent hip firing this weapon than I was aiming down sights. Uh, but your mileage may vary depending on how you like to play. So close range with this weapon, obviously it is a monster. You're going to be going up against Suami and a couple other SMGs for that fire rate spot. And you might get beaten out every once in a while, but this thing just feels very, very consistent. And then if you do get extended mags on it, you can take down three to four people, which is very, very nice if you're in close range. Medium range with this weapon really, really struggles because of the accuracy of aiming down sights it's really hard to land more than four or five shots and you're going to be struggling to get those last couple of hits in just in my personal opinion so if you are going to be taking this on medium range you definitely want to burst a little bit instead of just holding down the trigger and long range with this weapon you should just you should not don't use it long range not what it's used for definitely not going to have a good time there stay away from long range engagements so overall, I really enjoyed using this weapon. It's an absolute monster when it comes to hip fire. Feels very, very consistent. And I would definitely recommend checking it out if you have not yet. And if you guys are struggling with this weapon, definitely go for the extended mags. It really helps you to kind of spray a little bit and not worry so much about landing every single hip fire shot. And just keep in mind that I do hip fire a lot in the clips you guys are seeing. But at the same time, you got to make sure you're aiming down sights at the right moments. You don't want to just rely on hip fire on this weapon because otherwise you're going to miss out on some kills that you could have otherwise gotten if you did aim down sights. Remember, hip fire is not super accurate. Even if you're on close quarters, sometimes it is better to aim down sights. So just keep that in mind while you're playing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this weapon in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not? Um, do you think it needs a little bit of a buff or is it good as is? Definitely let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. And if you did enjoy the video, remember to smash that like button and remember to subscribe if you guys have not already because it seriously helps me out and have a good one. See ya.